Approximately 1 in 8 men will develop prostate cancer at some point in their life, and therefore it is a common cancer that all men should be aware of. In this video, we'll look at some of the symptoms of prostate cancer and when you need to get checked out. Prostate cancer is the second most common cause of cancer in men. In the early stages, the cancer is confined to the prostate gland, meaning many men don't experience any symptoms which can make early diagnosis challenging. Therefore, it helps to know who is at risk. You're at higher risk of prostate cancer if you're over the age of 50, you're a black male, or there is a history of prostate cancer in your family. So what are the symptoms to look out for? We've already mentioned that for some men with prostate cancer, there are no symptoms. Those who do experience symptoms may experience problems passing urine. So as the prostate cancer grows, it can cause pressure on the tubing of your waterworks that can result in the following. Feeling the need to pass urine more frequently, getting up more frequently to pass urine at night, getting little warning that you need to pass urine, and experience difficulty emptying your bladder or dribbling after you've finished passing urine. You may also experience new erectile dysfunction, where you may have difficulty maintaining an erection. There may be blood in your urine or your semen. You may feel more tired or lethargic. And finally, symptoms of pains in your lower back, a sensation of bone pain or weight loss can indicate more advanced disease. To make the diagnosis of prostate cancer more challenging, some of the symptoms of prostate cancer can overlap with some common non-cancerous benign prostate enlargement, particularly those symptoms affecting the flow of your urine. So when should you get checked? So if you have any of the discussed symptoms or are worried that you are at higher risk of prostate cancer, what should you do? The best thing is to speak with your doctor. They can review your symptoms, perform a quick examination of your prostate and organize a blood test called a PSA. By completing this assessment, your doctor can be better informed to either reassure you or organize an urgent referral to a urologist for further investigation, surveillance or treatment. Remember, prostate cancer is a common type of cancer in men, affecting up to one in eight individuals. If you're worried that you may be high risk of prostate cancer or experiencing any of the symptoms we've discussed, make an appointment with your doctor and get yourself checked. Music